What's up guys, Chooch out here in Southern California, Santa Monica on the Veteran Sherman electric unicycle. And you can pick up this particular electric unicycle in the link below, link tree. And this is gonna be at E-Wheels, this specific one right here. Absolutely beautiful morning out here. I got here the crack of dawn. And guys, listen to this. This is my first time ever in Los Angeles. I, this is the first time I've ever set foot in Los Angeles and I immediately got on the unicycle and I immediately picked up the camera and started filming. And I tell you what guys, if this was absolutely like the best morning I've had in a long, long time, I'm telling you that. So I drove all the way from Colorado and I drove through the night. The night before this, I was actually riding the Las Vegas Strip and then and I was in Las Vegas riding. I packed everything up in Las Vegas. Uh, I parked behind McCarran International Airport at the Walmart there rode from the Walmart all the way to the strip went ripping all through the strip all night it was so much fun there was guys out there ripping those Can-Am spiders out there I was riding around with those guys it was so much fun absolute blast I put this in the truck got on the freeway and headed all the way over to Southern California and I was able to hit it and drive through the night and basically avoid all the traffic if there was some traffic flaring up Got in here, and now I'm in Santa Monica on the Veteran Sherman, guys, and man, is this the way to explore the world or what? Just have this in the back of your car while you're road tripping, park somewhere and get out with this thing and just go explore, guys. And I'm telling you, I've never seen Los Angeles before, and this was the greatest day ever. I was able to get on this Veteran Sherman and ride so far go to so many places. I started the morning off in Santa Monica. I went all the way to Hollywood Hills, rode through, saw all the cool, like expensive, nice houses up there. I went all the way up to the Hollywood sign, rode all around Hollywood Boulevard, everything, man. What a day. And the veteran Sherman, this electric unicycle I'm on right here, it had the battery life to do it. So in one battery life, I've rode in Vail, Colorado. I've rode Las Vegas, California, and Santa Monica, California, and Santa Monica, all the way to Hollywood and downtown Los Angeles on one charge. I haven't charged up, so I've been road tripping and I haven't been able to get to a charger. And so that just shows, you know, how much um, this thing, it, it's incredible. There's no other unicycle I've had up until this point um, that is like the veteran Sherman. This is your little adventure wheel. This is literally what I've been wanting for years, guys. I love that Honda Grom. I love riding dirt bikes, like I've, I've said, but just I literally take this thing and I have um, right now in my truck currently on this trip, there's three unicycles in my truck. So I had the Sherman actually tied down in the back. So I strapped it down just like a dirt bike, you know. I put the um, used tie down straps on the actual um, roll cage right there and tied it down to where it would basically, I mean, every bounce of the truck is basically elevated so this thing just kind of sits in the back and you know kind of goes with the bumps and it, it works perfect you can really tie this down in a pickup truck really easy if you if it's muddy or something like that the veteran sherman is great for that because um, this is a heavy wheel and getting it in and out of your car you know you might beat some stuff up but anyways just went under the santa monica pier right there guys you know iconic landmarks from gta if you've played the video game like i have I've never seen it in real life. I've only seen it in the video game. And so it literally is just like the video game. It's so cool, man. I was, you guys in Southern California, um, I see why it's so expensive to live there. I see why gas is so expensive. It's a, I mean, absolutely, what a heck of a place to live, man. I mean, really, it really is cool. Check it out right here. So I'm passing LAPD. LAPD pulls out right there, but I'm just cruising, guys. And that's the thing with these unicycles, man, um, especially with the veteran Sherman. You see right there, if they had turned on blue lights or sirens, I would have definitely stopped, you know. But there's no sense in me just giving myself up and just stopping, you know, and making myself look like I'm actually doing something wrong. I'm just cruising like everybody else. I'm being safe around people, I'm being polite, being respectful to people. Another thing is ride within your limits and ride within what you're willing, what you're willing to bail on and by what I mean by that is my willingness to bail on this is pretty much um, I'll, I'll throw myself into a pole a fence anything like that to avoid somebody even if it's their mistake even if it's their they're coming at me on a bike or something like that 
uh, just to you know keep the name of electric unicycles alive and avoid hitting them, I will sacrifice myself and 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 detriment my machine and myself, you know, over somebody else's mistake. And uh, you want to avoid that, you know. You really want to be keen. You want to be vigilant, and you don't want to ever have to get to that point of having to do a gnarly bail or something like that. And you know. This right here, riding like I'm riding, this is not just me going out and buying this thing and taking it out the first day like an idiot. This is six years of riding around people, of riding around every scenario under the sun, riding around dogs, riding around kids, riding around people. I mean, you name it. Um, anything can happen, guys. It really can. Anything can happen. You got to be fully vigilant and just do the best you can, guys. And, and if you're a new rider on these things, let me tell you, if you're a new rider, you're seeing all these videos of these people doing all this um, and, and just being being this good on it and being this vigilant and looking around nonstop at everything, this comes, guys. It comes with the more you ride it. Um, and that's why I say start off on like a slower wheel, guys. If you're just getting into the hobby, start on like a King Song 16S and do a lot of riding in a city. And at slower speeds, you'll develop uh, being able to look around. You'll de develop awareness. You'll see how drivers respond to you. You'll see how people respond to you, how dogs respond to you. The whole nine yards on a slower wheel, and then you can move to something like the Veteran Sherman. Because if you get this wheel or you get something fast like this as your first wheel, and, you know, I, I fully support it. I think it's a great wheel. I think fast wheels are good. Uh, they have their advantages. I think they're safer in some situations. But still, one of my go-to wheels, I ride a, a lot still. I let all my buddies ride it. I let, um, you know, I let people that just get into the hobby, the wheel they love, and they get comfortable with fastest is that King Song 16S, guys. So that's a good wheel to look at if you're just getting into the hobby and you don't have to spend as much, you know? Check this out. We're in Venice Beach right now. We rode all the way from Santa Monica over to the iconic Venice Beach area. And you just see right here what's happened with the, the homeless crisis right there, man. They have, it, is, it is crazy right there. I mean, it's, I mean, that is nuts. I mean, there's just tents and tents and everywhere. I mean, the whole beach is taken up right there. It is crazy. But I was booming through here, man. This has been seen in many, many movies. Uh, music videos, you name it right here, all through this Venice Beach area. <laughs> One of these guys say, get it, get it. I don't know where he is. I'll pass him up here in a minute. Oh yeah, there he is. He goes, get it. I got a video y'all are going to absolutely despise me for next. I took this thing on the beach. So I rode from Santa Monica Pier. I rode all the way to uh, pretty much Malibu on the beach on this thing. And it was like I was riding right on the edge of the water. And you got to be so careful about that, guys. I've actually seen it happen uh, to, to a fella. He was riding on the edge of the beach. A wave came up and it just a, one that was just bigger than all the other ones and just crashed onto his wheel, dude. And literally the wave went all the way over it and it's game over salt water in this thing that's absolutely that's detrimental and you know i knew that but coming to to the beach uh to los angeles the first time being on santa monica beach first thing in the morning i literally was riding down the beach with like a flock of seagulls at the same speed as the seagulls just cruising down the beach at like first thing in the morning and dude that was worth the price of that thing if it got taken by a wave like it was it was majestic bro like it was absolutely majestic and i was going to put that in the in this right here but it's like it's it's quality for its own video i'm not going to make some short video or something like that but that is that was awesome man literally just cruising with the seagulls on santa monica beach at literally the crack of dawn on like a beautiful like overcast morning dude you cannot beat that you cannot beat it it was so awesome like this is the, this is the way i'd want to experience southern california right here honestly like with all the action and everything like that it would have been too much to ride through here you know this was perfect i got here early in the morning all this stuff going on in the world there's not too many people out and about i was able to get around see all the cool spots not much traffic epic epic man it was just perfect and dude these houses man like imagine like this like coming here gave me some inspiration honestly like to work harder man like because you know like california it, it does get a bad rep and everything in the news and all that stuff now but man 
you gotta admit, like living down here, like having like a little place right here on the beach or something like that before all these hard times hit and everything, right in the middle of the action, you know? Say like, I met mid 90s, like right down here, or like early 2000s was just the coolest thing in the world. I, I mean, I bet it was just awesome. Like an actual popping summer day in like 2004 right here would just be just so cool. So with the veteran Sherman, like with, with this tire and, and the setup of this wheel and the way it feels and whatnot, for just riding around town, going from the beach, going from, you know, grass areas, going to the roadways, long range stuff. Um, if you're an advanced rider, say you've been riding um, and you're wanting to upgrade, say you've had one electric unicycle that was like a good wheel. I'm talking like something better than like one of the old nine bots or something like that. Like say if you're still in like a nine bot or still in like a King Song 14D, I say take one more step, get like another fast 16 inch wheel or something in the middle between this um, and, and that wheel. But if you're on like a King Song 16S, if you're on like a, on a, a Tesla, if you're on, um, let's see what other wheels out there like an in motion v11 if you're on any of those other wheels like that like a mid-range gotway like a gotway msx and you kind of get your eyeball on the veteran sherman and say you put like at least 5,000 miles on whatever wheel you have and that sherman's like looking good to you and you're thinking about that pre-order i say do it guys like i really went in the position to, you know going to, to buy this wheel and I had just gotten the EX in and like I was going to be completely satisfied with that wheel um, and I love it. I freaking love that wheel. I won that race on it but I am really glad that I got this veteran Sherman and the, if you're going to put in a pre-order I say do it now. Make sure you do use my link if you do it but if you do it now you know you're going to you're going to have that wheel in like a month or whatever and the thing is with these veteran Shermans it takes like a month to get them in you know so the quicker you put in your pre-order the better you know and I, I was hesitant i'm like more of like a person that's like spontaneous and i really am bad at planning or pre-ordering and all that crap but this was just one of those things i don't even know i don't even know why i did it one day i literally am not the type of person to pre-order anything but i, I pre-ordered this sherman and it i kind of forgot about it and then i saw like the update that it was coming in and I was like, okay, yeah, the Sherman's coming in, Sherman's coming in, dude. But, but after I got this thing open, since I've been riding around on it, dude, I, I don't know how I would live without this wheel. This thing is freaking amazing. I love it, and it is just my adventure craft. I can get on it and go all day and have a blast.